Hello and welcome to a Tekken tutorial and um, in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at ways of making um, eco-friendly um, fuel and maybe some or one view of non-eco-friendly fuel and how to store that fuel and distill that fuel. So to begin with we are making a solar panel and pause for the recipes because I will quickly look at them, describe them and go. To begin with, we have our solar panel recipe, which is two electronic circuits, generator, a triangle of glass, and a triangle of coal dust, and that gives you the solar panel. Moving on now with our windmill. The windmill is the same, and you'll learn how to use the windmills, which are up there, um, when you are with uh, JJ Fox over there, which is Miles in the second part of the show, and you make the windmills like so a generator with iron ingots on the corners and that gives you a windmill this next one is a generator and it's slightly different I'll show you we put the coal in and then as you can see it wastes the coal and begins to generate electricity that's all that does and then you can use these which we'll come on to later the distiller so now we are on how to make the generator and there's two different recipes but I'm only going to show you one the cheapest way is an RE battery three refined iron which is cooked iron and an iron furnace which is a furnace made of iron and you'll see that in a later tutorial and that gives you the end generator now the bat box is an interesting thing because the bat box it stores up to four forty thousand volts of um, industrial craft and build craft uh, power and it can output 32 EU slash T and that's enough to um, power these um, machines like the class the tier 1 machines really and these are made quite simply with three RE batteries two wooden planks at the top three wooden planks across the bottom and a copper cable and you can use any wooden planks it doesn't matter and that obviously gives you the final of the bat box moving on now to the copper cables which are made simply with rubber which is cooked sticky resin with copper which is cooked copper ore that simply gives you this the next is extremely expensive um, sort of variety of wire or um, electric or energy distiller which um, I do believe the windmill requires that's why we're using them to distill the windmill and I'm sure that uh, Miles will show you that and it's very expensive because it's a diamond not an industrial diamond we don't have normal diamonds we just have industrial diamonds with two redstones next to it and then surrounded by glass and that end product is a glass fiber cable now guys I hope you have enjoyed this part of the show and um subscribe comment and rate and let's go to miles for the second part of the show i'll see you later okay so now you know how to make these various sources of power you now need to know how to set them up and use them and also collect the power so for that here i have three of these solar panels that you saw earlier this is it right here this one's actually a different one I just realized that and here's the copper cable so if you flow some copper cable into one of the bat boxes you see the power level will start to rise and it will get to 40,000 and from this you can pump out various cables so you can use a copper cable or glass fibre cable and you can put that into a, a electric furnace or a macerator to power that for you the second way obviously is with a generator that's powered by coal this just link this up and you can see it will start to um, use the coal to create electricity and it will then put the level up in your back box yet again this one obviously will use coal and it's one of the less eco-friendly ones but it could be good for when you're first starting minecraft and the third way is with windmills now obviously this windmill they use wind to um, power and then 
the power is transferred down these glass fibre cables and yet again into the back box. You have to use glass fibre cables for windmills which is very expensive and it uses a diamond per four so it's not a power source that you might be able to use straight away. And I, I think, is it going the wrong way? No. It only works if it is windy. If you fly up you can hear the noise of it but you it's not windy just there actually, so that's not working. Okay, so that's how you create and use various sources of power. You can see this is still building, it takes longer. Okay, so thanks for watching.